previously on The Way of the Fallen. Mortally wounded. <laughs> All right, retrieve your gear, retrieve your grace. Quite confused. That's what all this is. She is, not me. <laughs> what do we have here? This is a Elohim shrine. Well, let's pray to Elohim. All right, what well, shall we pray to the, to Elohim for? Well, how about first and foremost our death atonement? And death atonement, grace fragments required, 10. Upon death, you lost precious gear, gra blah, blah, precious gear to unknown forces. You have the ability to sacrifice grace fragments to reclaim your lost gear. Well, let's reclaim. Gear has been reacquired. Excellent. Okay, so let's get our gear back on so that way we're not completely naked in all of this. Actually, I just got it all right here. Excellent. So we're still this kind of aura character. Let's pray again. Angelic skills, lycanthrop skills, angelic weapons. Hmm. The angelic skill tree. New spells and abilities become available after absorbing enough grace fragments from enemies. Each new skill requires a set amount of fragments based upon the strength, usefulness, and uniqueness of the skill. So we have astral projection, angelic strength, healing factor, water breathing, angelic proficiency. Let's see. That requires no grace fragments. That's good because we don't have any. So search deep within yourself to locate your source of power. Call upon it to reveal your angelic nature or to take to the skies. We can do that. All right. We'll go through one more time. I'm thinking some angelic weaponry. So, again, no grace fragments required, but we can only have one of these three at a time. I've tested this. So call upon a new angelic weapon to slay your enemies. These weapons are the only thing in existence that can kill a Nephilim. Choose which angelic weapons you, or weapon, weapon you wish to use. Accessible in all states. Well, the blade, of course. The angelic blade was granted to you. All right. So, now let's take a look. Only weapons that can kill a Nephilim. All right, well, might as well have these things at the ready, of course. Got a shiny gate over here. Let's see. Unlock the Enclave. Requires a key. All right. So we'll just do a little bit of searching. Ah, another one. Unlock Sovngarde. Also requires a key. Intrigue abound, dear readers. Much intrigue abound. All right, an iron door. It's nice and glowy. There's Draco that's barking. Got some books. Yeah, Chloe. Hmm. Hello there. Eric Hagen. Well, we've got lots of questions. Well, let's see. I guess we should probably talk about opening these portals, because, you know, I want to get out of here. Requires services to open a portal. Of course. Where would you like to open the breach? 
Seeing the Enclave with Nern. Seeing the Enclave with the Shadow World, or never mind. Well, we don't really know much about either one. I mean, we've obviously heard of Nern. Shadow World, we're not entirely sure what that is. There was an option to learn more about Shadow Metal or the world, so let's learn about that first. Return to me when you want to travel dimensions. Oh, we will. Well, I would like to know more about the Shadow World. When speaking of the Shadow World, there are two meanings. The physical world and the categorical one. Which are you speaking of? Hmm. Well... Interested in the physical plane that the Shadow World exists on. The immortal plane. The Shadow World. Aetherius. It all means the same thing. Hmm. It's where all magic originates from, and magic is our link back to the immortal plane. Because of our semi-angelic heritage, our link to the shadow world is greatly enhanced, which makes it easier to travel to Aetherius and Oblivion. Nephilim blood essentially hemorrhages magic. Because of our special link to Aetherius, we have specific abilities that no other mortal will ever gain. However, because of that special connection, we also must be careful when navigating any Aetherium plane. Talks about us and this blood and all that. Well, he spoke of dangers, though. What, what dangers are on Aetherius that we need to be careful of? The angels. Our magical signature is extremely close to the one that angels emit, and if one of them were to get suspicious of us, they may realize not all of us are dead. We may be scattered around Mundus, but in the end, it's for our own safety. If the angels were to discover that some of us still live, they'll hunt us down until not even one of us remains. It's why we've taken up residence at crossroad locations such as the Clave. At these locations, the vibrations of each plane of existence does not affect us, and because of our angelic heritage, we can take refuge here. In between realms, a place where our angelic signature cannot be traced. You mentioned something about vibrations? Each plane of existence vibrates at a specific frequency. It's what keeps people in Mundus from seeing Ethereum, or Daedric Realms, and vice versa. Without these frequencies keeping each plane in balance, they would all collapse into each other. Mundus, Oblivion, and Ethereus. Imagine the chaos that would ensue if all realms were allowed to coexist. This phenomenon is what's called the Veil. Utilizing the anchor behind me, I can open a breach to these realms by vibrating the Enclave at the same frequency as the realm in question. Interesting. Well, I think that's all we talk about for now. So, let's get let's get a portal open to the Shadow World because he's talking about the physical world, and that's where we'd like to go. Of course. Where would you like to open the breach? Well, let's sink the Enclave with the Shadow World. I'll open a breach to the Shadow World immediately. And off he goes to do some vibrations. be at opening. Okay. The Enclave is synced up with the vibrations of the Shadow World. Good luck, young Nephilim. And with that line, that is what we are. As far as if you had to pick a race, for example, we are a Nephilim. Again, we don't know, or she doesn't know, she's just now taking all this M, Nephilim, you know, heard of these things, knows what a Nephilim is. It's basically when an angel and a mortal get it on, for lack of a better word, <laughs> and, and they produce a Nephilim, a hybrid, if you will. A mix between both. And there come certain perks with that. Well. We can visit Savagard. Actually, we have to visit Savagard. So, well, here we go. Here it is. 
Sovngarde. Hmm. Now, from here, there is a task, actually. Not to begin your new life. The Retrieve of Grace. And our... That music. The Grace is over this way. I've, I've played this part, just like I said, to make sure it all works. But... This is Sovngarde, like, if you're familiar with... Well, for those of you who haven't played Skyrim enough, uh, Sovngarde is quite important at one point in the game. And this is at Sovngarde. Alright. Leave... It's around here somewhere. Let me double check. Oh, back. Yeah, it's right here. Basically, there's a little grave right here. A little mark. So attempt to corporealize at your Nephilim phylactery. Let's attempt it. Before I do, I'm going to save. I've had this crash a couple of times here, but I think I have a mod that will t help that. So, And it worked the last time, so we should be okay. All right, let's corporealize. All right, our graces have been absorbed, a.k.a. we now have a physical form back. All right, so, of course, there is the name of our character, The Wretched Harmony. Of course, for those of you who don't know, if you're making it this far and you haven't seen previous videos, I name all of my uh, Skyrim characters after uh, characters from a wonderful series called Wizard People Deer Reader. And here we go, our final character, in this trilogy is the Wretched Harmony. All right, we've retrieved our gear. We've retrieved our grace. Let's head back and see now what we can do with these new abilities. Take a look around Skyrim, you pretty. All right, back into the Enclave. I love that Sovngarde music. Oh, it's so good, so good. I use it, use it for so many things. Just that chanting with just a little bit of drum. Oh, so good. All right, so, we've reclaimed gear, reclaimed grace. Let's talk again to Eirik, Eric. I don't know how to pronounce it. Well, let's open in the portal and let's get back to actual Skyrim and let's basically take care of some business. Of course. Where would you like to open the breach? Let's go to Nern. All right. I'll open a breach at Tamriel right away. So, travel between dimensions, if you will. Almost like traveling between dimensions. Different worlds, different planes. Vibrations abound for our travel. And we have basically a new skill tree, if you will, this angelic skill tree. So we have to earn some things. The Enclave is synced up with the vibrations of Tamriel. May we meet again, young Nephilim. All right. So, as stated, yeah, sometimes things will disappear. <laughs> All right, so let's head out this way to the Enclave. This is a little transitional point. Some locked doors. Interesting things back there, like different pools. All right, back to Skyrim we go. The Enclave Stone has been discovered. The stone, this standing stone, if you will, 
is basically a way to travel back and forth. It's quite handy. Okay. Let's see if we can just find a, a place that might be able to just kind of take us in. We've gotten so much information, you know, finding out kind of what we are. Not who we are, but what. The who plays a very important part later in this story. By the way. <laughs> so let's just kind of head out and see if we can figure out where we're at. It's very foggy today in Skyrim. Even though we're you know, raised around here, we gotta find... Oh. Alright. Grace has been absorbed. Oh! We got hit. So essentially, this is what we're gonna have to do anytime we die. Is... Basically, become naked, for the most part. Become this weird red pile of ash and blood. And go whoosh, back. Kind of repeat the cycle. Anytime we die. So here we are. Retrieve your gear, retrieve your grace. <laughs> Alright, so let's do this again. And since you guys have seen this already, I am going to do this. Sorry for hitting the microphone. I'm going to do this again. And since you know how this works, I'll see you when we get back to Skyrim. And back in Skyrim. Familiar territory. We're not just going to let what happened to us go basically without any type of retribution. We shall find those Forsworn and we shall kill them. We'll be ready. But also, we have to level up. Can't forget that. Alright. As you can see, our health Cut in half, currently. Hmm. That explains a couple of things, why we died so quickly. Let's also... Come here to the one-handed. This will help us out quite a bit. Now, just to show you why. And some things that are, uh... A bit... Oh, what's the... The active effects and all that. So, we use magic. Your angelic lineage gives you a negative 75% weakness to magic. Let's say we need to stay away from mages at the time. But, other than that, of course, things we are wearing. Like, for example, one thing that we're not wearing. Our angelic blood gives us 100% resist to disease. And then, of course... The atrophy of vitality. Your body is out of sync with Nurin. It requires time to adjust to the physical plane. Because of this atrophy, it drains 50 points from your health. And currently, that's got about 21 minutes and 33 seconds left on it. So we have to be very careful with what we're doing. And have those heals at the ready. Play it cool. Don't freeze on me, game. There we go. We currently have a few fragments for us. Let me get my heal. Alright, Forsworn. Let's do a little search.
Maybe that armor could be... Oof. That hurt a bit. Watch out for traps. Where are the rest of you? Are you over here? In your tents? Doesn't look that way. But these are definitely forsworn tents. I don't see them. Okay. Let's run off and... Celebrate their victory, but a little prematurely. Take some pelts. This will be a, of great help. What do we have here? Put the weapons down. Imperials. Ah, checking out the rabbit, getting some supplies for their patrol. Fair enough. Okay, so we must be in Imperial controlled territory. We don't have our map. It's one of the things we lost. So we kind of have to just find our way without any real guidance. Part of our test. And of course, we still have our wreck that we have to get to as well. Skyrim, you're pretty, though. So far, all these surroundings don't seem familiar to us. We're out of our elements. But maybe this cabin can have some refuge for us for the night. Let's, let's see. Farmer's Cottage. Well, we might as well. Just have ourselves a seat. And at least keep an eye out. Wait until morning. Alright, awake. This Frodmar hasn't returned. Hasn't come through in the night. Hasn't shown up, hasn't left his cottage, so must be must be gone. I was hoping, you know, we could talk to somebody, get some directions, maybe some supplies, maybe something. Just keep going. See, like I said, see if we can try to find our way back to the Hall of the Vigilance. Just be at the ready. All right, leveled up again. Back feeling much, much better. All right, so we're gonna raise our magic up. And we're also going to raise, currently, our restoration for healing and re regenerative, regenerative purposes. Let's just keep going. So far, just kind of our, some training that we've had is, area seems starting to seem more and more familiar with places that we've been. Another bandit. More grace has been absorbed. Hide armor and lock picks. That hide armor could be useful for someone. Maybe another vigilant can use it for some money, for some funding. So let's keep going. Oh, a dog. Injured. It could be lying ahead. Skeever. 
trained on how to make use of some of these ingredients we find along the way for survival purposes. We are no alchemists, but we do know some tricks of the trade, if you will. All right, things are still looking somewhat familiar. Recognizing roads, recognizing paths. Let's keep going, here we go. Some signage. Oh. Call upon filling some of our power. Just feeling getting stronger and stronger by the moment almost. Let's find the things that could be useful. Not for us, necessarily. Okay. Although it could be useful for lockpicks, not like I said, we're to have some, but you know, we're not needing to use them. All right, so, yes, Dragon Bridge, Rorikstead, Markarth, Whiterun, and Solitude. So we are not too far from home. Or we know as our home, as things go. And that would explain the Imperial-controlled areas. Okay. So let's keep going. At least with Solitude. We haven't been there since we were a child. Oh, no. I haven't been to Solitude since we were a child, but we've always had a strange fascination with it, but we don't know why. It's firing upon... Some Stormcloaks are firing upon some Thalmor. We have no business in this fight. Remaining neutral as much as possible. We'll leave them be. Thalmor rule these lands. They seem to, you know, be the law of the land as the Thalmor and the Stormcloak Rebellion is all but kind of seen the last little flickers of light. But as I was saying, we've had a strange fascination with solitude. Not sure entirely why, but haven't been there in years. Rothfine Manor. Of course, no one's, no one's opening the door to us at the moment. Okay, we shall keep traveling, keep traversing. Seeing if... You maybe seek some refuge near Solitude and perhaps take a carriage. <clears throat> or just, you know, at least find a place to stay for the night. That would be most useful. Let's see if we can just be on the ready, but also if we can see any points of interest that can guide us to where we need to go. coast will definitely get us close. And where we need to go is not too far from the coast as well. Let's stick near the mountains. And if we can find a way to get to solitude. And that would be really useful. Keep going. Mind our footing, of course. So we don't want to just accidentally fall. And 
and ha. Huh. Okay. Just making our way across the cliffs. So far, everything looks familiar, but at the same time, slightly different. Fortunately for us, there's been some paths we can take. Who knows if they, what they say about Nephilim and angels is true. Maybe we don't need to do so much running. But it could all just be a myth and a story. It could be a bad dream that we're a Nephilim. The only time will tell if we wake up. Or if maybe this is just another one of our nightmares. That I had mentioned previously. Which is why... We wanted to go to Dawnstar. Maybe perhaps get some clarification about our own nightmares that we've been having. Maybe get some answers. But alas, no shelter to be found so far. So let's keep going. Just don't want to stumble into too much territory that's unfamiliar because, well, it's unfamiliar. And, uh, a ship. Perhaps they can give us some directions, but no need. There's solitude. Solitude lies ahead. Okay. Let's perhaps see if anyone aboard the ship has any wares we might be able to trade for, or perhaps we can even sell. Dainty slowed. Excuse us. Seek some trade. Oh. Okay. We'll take that as a sign to back off. Excuse us, gentlemen. This is not open. Someone may be asking, well, why don't you just run up and kill him? Because we're not going to attack unless we're provoked. Remember, we're a very good, very, very good character, and they're just more or less saying, hey, no trespassers, we don't know who you are. Back off. Just like when the Thalmor were fighting the Stormcloaks, we just... We don't have a dog in the fight, if you will. We have no say-so in the matter, we're just... Vigilance. Spreading the word of Stendar and smiting evil and... Daedra, Daedra worshippers, and all, all of that. But alas, we have finally made it to solitude. We're really close by, and things we can at least, you know, get a bed, get some food, sell some of the things we've picked up along the way. And, you know, find a new map, uh, get kind of our bearings back and get back home, potentially. And at least report and say, hey, I don't know how long we've been away, even, you know. Try to figure out some things, that, some lingering questions, if you will. And actually, I, I want to save questions. We have so many questions. Maybe someone can shed some light on this whole Nephilim business. Or maybe people will just think we're crazy. Or again, maybe it's one of another nightmare, another dream. I guess it kind of depends on how it turns out, if it's one or the other. But we will make our way to Solitude. Somewhere we have not been in quite some time, yet we are very familiar with kind of what's going on, what's been going on, as far as the Civil War goes. And since we're neutral in all this, we are allowed safe passage in solitude. We haven't been completely shut out, you know, by the war. 
any of those guarding it. But let's go inside. Let's see if we can find, like I was saying, a place to sleep, a place to get some food and some rest, sell some wares, and then we'll head back home tomorrow. All right, we have arrived at Dawnstar. You'll notice we have ourselves a shield. When we went to Solitude, we met up with uh, the local smith, the local blacksmith, and sold him some of the goods we picked up along the way and used some of that money to buy a shield that he had with him. It is a banded iron shield. Should be quite useful for any potential battles we happen to get into. And then slept a night at the local inn. No dreams, no nightmares this time, just plain sleep. But here we are in Dawnstar. And we want to discuss the nightmares, even though we didn't have any this most recent night. We do want to find out what has been going on here. Thank you. So yeah, no dreams last night, no nightmares, just sleep. It has to be. I've got to get out of this town. Irgner, get a hold of yourself. They're just dreams. Please tell her, Erendur. Listen to your friend, Freak. They are just dreams, my dear. I assure you that it is quite normal. It's the same dream over and over again. You think that's normal? It's evil, I tell you. Erendur, she has a point. You keep telling us no harm will follow these dreams, but they must be an omen. Give him a chance to speak. He's trying to help us. Everyone, please. I'm doing what I can to end these nightmares. In the meantime, all I ask is you remain strong and put your trust in Lady Mara. I, I will. Thank you. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. I'd like to discuss this with Erendur. What's my daughter? And what might you need? Hmm? What's wrong with everyone around here? The entire town is being plagued by horrible nightmares. They're in serious danger, but I'm afraid there's little I can do about it. Well, we, I mean, we definitely disagree with the dreams are harmless because we've been plagued by some of these, but they aren't real. At least we know that. We get a grip on it. You know, we know it's just when we sleep. But what could you do anyway? Dreams aren't real. These dreams are manifestations created by the Daedric Lord, Vermina. She has an awful hunger for our memories. In return, she leaves behind nightmares. Not unlike a cough marks a serious illness. I must end her terrible influence over these people before the damage becomes permanent. And what's your plan? I need to return to the source of the problem, to Nightcaller Temple. Perhaps you'd be willing to assist me in that regard. I mean, of course, if it uh, means putting an end to some Daedra, then sure. But what do you mean, return? You've been there? I've already said too much. If anyone overhears what we're saying, it could start a panic. I would simply ask that you trust me and help me end Dawnstar's nightmares. Okay. Since... He's already been there. It feels like he's leaving out some information. So we can't trust you You're hiding something. Your concerns are understandable. Trust is a very difficult commodity to come by these days. I can only give you my word as a priest of Mara that my intentions are honorable. Okay. All right. Well, he's a priest, represents, you know, Lady Mara, so, uh, all right. We trust you. How can I help? Wonderful. My Lady Mara will be quite pleased. Nightcaller Temple is only a short walk from Dawnstar. Come, we must hurry. All right. I promise to answer all of your questions. Follow me. Maybe helping them will help us with our recurring nightmares. So, 
We'll just follow Herendir out and head to Nightcaller Temple.